Hello, and welcome to the final Yesterday Show of this series, the Christmas Special. I'm glad to welcome back three of our distinguished guests from the past series. Sir Anthony Joe Fassbender III, a crossbencher from the House of Lords. Good evening. Croaking Chris Armstrong, who will be performing for us later. Good evening. Hank Timbuk II, who is live via Radio Link from Texas. Good evening, y'all. And finally, Professor Frederick Snore. Mm. Professor... Mm. Professor Snore! <laughs> self, 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 you, 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 you. My guests are all here today to answer the question, does Christmas still have a meaning in the 21st century? Sir Anthony Joel Fassbender. Oh, thank you. Yes, I believe that um, Christmas is um, still very important in this country, as it has been for many years, as long as I can remember. Um, I do agree with a lot of our more um, modern social commentators that um, it has become more commercialised and a bit more secular, but I still think that the Church of England and uh, the traditional um, services and the Archbishop of Canterbury still uh, bring the nation together as uh, does the Queen's speech. I find that very comforting in Christmas, and I think it's... Uh, so Christmas is still... No, has a lot of meaning in Britain's eyes. Oh, okay. Are you a Church of England man yourself? Oh, good Lord, no. No, no, no. My, my family has a long uh, tradition of pagan worship. I am a pagan myself, and uh, I have been for a long time. So how does a pagan celebrate Christmas? Well, typically it involves um, a lot of us. There's about uh, two or three hundred of us, usually. I have celebrated Christmas in large numbers. Uh, gather on uh, Salisbury Plain, generally around Stonehenge. I couldn't do it last year because they were excavating there. And um, we take off all our clothes in the customary time-honored fashion. We build an enormous pyre in the middle of the uh, stone circle, sacrifice um, somebody on it, usually a member of the Communist Party, or we almost got Arthur Scargill the other day, but um, he cancelled at the last minute. And then um, the revelry begins. We drink to our heart's content, we shag the living daylights out of everything that moves, and we all wake up pretty stoned in the morning. So, not a very traditional Christmas? Well, it's traditional for me, and I believe that a lot of British people, well, I say two or three hundred, are practicing, so I would call it traditional in that sense. Okay. Thank you, Sir Anthony. Now, uh, live, live in Texas, are you there, Hank Timbuk II? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear, my friend. Now, in our last discussion, I understand you are a member of the uh, Church of Jobian Christians. Yeah, thank you for pronouncing it right this time, my friend. I am the minister for the local Church of Jobian Christians, yeah. Now, do you follow a traditional celebration of Christmas? Well, I guess it depends what you mean by traditional, my friend. If you mean uh, traditionally young, uh, your lines of, uh, you know... Christmas dinner and listening to the Queen's speech, and I don't think we'd call that traditional, no. But we uh, obviously have church in the morning, just like you. We have a church service that goes on for four hours. I make people stand up for four hours straight. As I said, we preach the value of suffering. Even on Christmas Day, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach the value of suffering. In the afternoon, well, it... Uh, we uh, open presents. We uh, give each other... I always give uh, my wife a car. And... Uh, in the evening, it uh, usually involves like sitting around a fire somewhere uh, with my boys, singing songs and uh, talking to the grandchildren, you know. Ah, so a very normal Christmas, really. And then, uh, once it gets to about 11, half past 11, uh, then the shooting begins. The shooting? The shooting, my friend. Uh, essentially, what happened uh, is... Uh, well, me, my wife, all my boys, all my grandchildren, everybody who feels like it, essentially. We uh, we get our uh, shotguns and our uh, air rifles and anything we have and have lying around. We uh, board our pickup trucks. Uh, I got myself an armor-plated one last year for Christmas. That was a sweet tooth, little thing. And then we uh, go riding through all the towns, all the nearest towns, saying the night in the uh, five-mile radius, and we just kill everything in our path. You know, it makes us feel alive, it makes you feel like the Lord is with us, you know. Right. Um, uh, uh, Professor Snow. Professor? Professor Snow! Sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Bales. I uh, fell asleep again. Despite being a man of science yourself, do you uh, enjoy the Christian traditions of the season? Yes, yes, I, I, I would say I do. I mean, I don't think the two are um, necessarily contradictory. What is it that a scientist like yourself gets up to on a day for celebration like this? Well, uh, I uh, wake up first thing in the morning, as you do, and uh, have a chocolate egg. 
uh, I go to church and uh, celebrating the uh, death and uh, resurrection of Christ, as uh, you know everybody else does. After church, I have uh, Sunday lunch, usually something like uh, chicken, and uh, spend the afternoon gorging myself on chocolates. And I might occasionally look to my telescope a little bit and see if I can uh, see the heavens. Sounds an awful lot like Easter rather than Christmas to me. Easter? Oh no, 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 no! You, you, you are confusing the festivals again, my friend. It's, uh, uh, Easter is uh, where we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Uh, where Christmas is um, the death and uh, resurrection. That's what Boxing Day is, you see, because uh, Jesus, uh, when he was uh, resurrected, came out fighting. He was like a boxer, so that's why it's called Boxing Day. I'm sorry, gentlemen, we're running out of time, but uh, would you all like to leave one final statement of goodwill for the season to our listeners? Merry Christmas and a happy new year for all the listeners on yesterday's show. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas and enjoy uh, cavorting naked and blowing things up. I wish you the very best, happy holidays and all that, and I hope you bag a good few people in there, your lovely England. Uh, yes, uh, Merry uh, Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, celebrating the uh, death and resurrection of Christ. Good on you. And to play us out, we have croaking Chris Armstrong returning to perform his version of Merry Christmas, everyone. Take it away, Chris. Thank you very much. Maestro, are you ready? Time for parties and celebrations. People dancing all night long. Time for presents and exchanging kisses. Time for singing Christmas songs. We Tonight, I'm gonna find that girl underneath the mistletoe. We kissed by candlelight, snow is falling all around me. Children playing, having fun. It's the season of love and understanding. again in the new year for a new series of the yesterday show but for now goodbye merry christmas and back to mumbling on